Australians. The Australians are holding up really well by being none down. Well fielded. And a run out. Oh dear, oh dear. It'll be Watson. It will be Watson, I feel. Cadditch hasn't moved out of his crease, so Shane Watson is run out. Unbelievable scenes here at the MCG. The end of a great partnership, and Shane Watson has to go. He doesn't want to go. He wants Cadditch to go, but it's Watson's to go. Well, they're both looking at each other. Does Watson think he's crossed and got his bat in? Well, it's the man running. I don't think Cadditch went too far, but if Watson has actually gone past Cadditch and put his bat in first, then Cadditch is the man to go. Well, they're almost there identically. Oh, this will be side on. And neither wants to go. Certainly Watson doesn't want to go. And now Cadditch is moving forward to have a chat. What a moment for both players. What a moment for Shane Watson. Well, it's a d disaster for Shane Watson if he's the man out, and it's surely got to be him. 93 and a terrible mix-up. How they've had a mix-up there, I don't know why it has to be him. It's a real uh, touch and go. Kanich just does not know Watson so far. Who puts his foot back in first is the key. Photo finish. You can't pick that. Watson, can... Watson was in the air. Yes, he was. Kanich. Watson is in the air, so Kanich, Kanich, Kanich survives. First. Rocks, paper, scissors, here we go. <laughs> like, Kadic has done nothing wrong here. I thought he might have raced back into his crease. But he just wanders back nicely. Look, looks around for Watson. Where is he? Where, where are you? Let's have a look at this. What's your decision at home? Kadic. Shadow there under Watson's foot. So Watson will be run out for 93. Oh, he needs longer spikes to get back in. That's... An a classic accidental mishap. What a sad moment for Shane Watson. And Caddish didn't know where he was there. If you look at that replay, he didn't, wasn't aware that Watson had run. So once again, he goes in the 90s. The end of a fine knock. That's the most unusual run-out decision you'll ever see. Well, inexcusable, really. It was ball-watching by Simon Caddish. If you want to blame one in the partnership. Simon Cadditch was watching the ball. Watson was coming through. There was an easy run there, but there was the mix-up. So Watson has to go. 93. I can't believe how many starts this man has got. And again, he walks off with his head slumped. It's still a fine knock. So the first wicket goes down to 182. That will be replayed for years and years to come. The most unusual run-out decision in Test cricket history. This crowd is going off. Pakistanis have finally got a wicket in these unusual circumstances. It's amazing how things just keep happening, don't they? I mean, it's a different mode of dismissal, but they, this is what's happening in the Australian team. As soon as someone gets close to 100, they make a meal of it like this. There was a horrible mix-up. Do you blame Cadditch? Watson should be watching your partner anyway. Back live. Well, there's a buzz around the ground. Your heart's pounding even up here in the commentary box. You feel for Shane Watson and also for Simon Cadditch. Well, it was absolutely incredible. He wasn't even trying to get back into his crease to beat anyone back into his crease, but his foot beat him by two centimetres. So he's ball watching all the time. That's a great stop and a great decision to go to the bowler's end while it was all happening at the other end. Pakistan were calling for the double play. They're not too perturbed. They've got their breakthrough wicket straight after the break. So for Pakistan, it was a good bit of fielding. You've got to say we've seen some clumsy fielding. And then we go again. There is hundreds of a second in this. This doesn't, that didn't make sense to me. Like, uh, Watson either had to turn around and go back or go quicker. He was the one that knew that the race needed to be on to get into the crease before Cadditch. Cadditch wasn't pressed at all. Well, I think the thing about it is, thank goodness for the cameras. You know, for the umpires, that was a very tough decision to give. 
but the shadow gave it away in the end. But here they are. Kadic has got no idea that Watson is there. He looks around now and he can't see his, his partner. He's looking at the ball and down goes his foot and then comes Watson. Watson took too big a stride. Here it comes again. Down goes one, down goes the other. Amazing. There's some young boys here today, probably for the first time at a Boxing Day Test match, will remember that forever. Well, there's two things, isn't there? There's the, the trap of ball watching, and there's also the trap in not calling loud enough. But with the atmosphere here of a Boxing Day MCG crowd, often calls can't be heard. So you look going on body language, instinct, and that was all lacking. at sea. It was lacking too, wasn't it? You have to sort of have a look at what your partner's doing and react accordingly. And Watson didn't react at all. I was so much looking forward to seeing him bounce back from the type of week he's had by making triple figures.